The president watched the bloody attack unfold on Fox News from his dining room. Members of Congress and other government officials stepped into the gigantic leadership void created by the president's chilling and studied passivity that day. What you're about to see is previously unseen footage of congressional leaders, both Republicans and Democrats, as they were taken to a secure location during the riot. You'll see how everyone involved was working actively to stop the violence, to get federal law enforcement deployed to the scene to put down the violence and secure the Capitol complex. Not just Democrats like Speaker Nancy Pelosi and House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, but Republicans like Vice President Pence, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Majority Whip John Thune, and countless other appointees across the administration. All of them did what President Trump was not doing what he simply refused to do. Take a listen. Uh, we're, start, we're starting to get surrounded. They're taking the uh, north front scaffolding. Unless we get more munitions, we are not going to be able to hold. The door has been breached, and people are gaining access into the Capitol. But you know what? We have got to get finished the proceedings or else it would have all become restricted. USA! USA! Senator Schumer is at a secure location and they're locked down in the Senate. There has to be some way we can maintain the sense that people have that there is uh, some security or some confidence that government can function and that we can elect the president of the United States. Did we go back into session? We did go back into session, but now apparently everybody on the floor is putting on tear gas masks to prepare for a breach. Well, I'm trying to get more information. They're putting on their tear gas masks. <laughs> We need an area for the council members. They're all walking over now through the tunnels. Hey, I'm going to call up the effing secretary of DOD. We have some senators who are still in their hideaways. They need massive personnel now. Can you get the Maryland National Guard to come too? I have something to say, Mr. Secretary. Well, I'm going to call the, the mayor of Washington, D.C. right now and see what uh, other outreach she has to other police departments, as Senator uh, Leader Hoyer has mentioned. Hi, Governor. Uh, this is Nancy. Uh, Governor, I don't know if you had been approached about the uh, Virginia National Guard, Mr. Hoyer was connect, uh, speaking to uh, uh, Governor Hogan, uh, but I still think you probably need the okay of the, uh, the federal government in order to come into another jurisdiction. Thank you. Oh my gosh, they're just breaking windows, they're doing all, all kinds of, it's really that somebody, they said somebody was shot, it's just, it's just, horrendous, and all at the instigation of the President of the United States. Okay, thank you, Governor. I appreciate what you're doing. And if you don't mind, I'd like to stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Virginia Guard has been called in. You know, I'm just talking to Governor Northam, and what he said is they sent 200 of state police and a unit of the National Guard. They're breaking windows and going in... Uh, uh, obviously ransacking our offices and all the rest of that. That's nothing. The, uh, the concern we have about uh, personal harm, safety. personal safety is it just transcends everything. But the fact is on any given day, they're breaking the law in many different ways. And quite frankly, much of it at the instigation of the President of the United States. And now, uh, if, if he could, could at least uh, somebody. Yeah, why don't you get the president to tell them to leave the Capitol, Mr. Attorney General, in your law enforcement responsibility? A public statement they should all leave. USA! 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 
This cannot be just we're waiting for so and so. We need them there now, whoever you got. You have okay? you also have troops. This is Stenny Hoyer troops. Okay, so we have a Fort little bit of time to make that decision. Andrews Air Force Base. All right. Other military bases. Thank you. We Thanks, need Paul. active Bye. duty National Guard. How soon in the future can you have the place evacuated, pulled, you know, cleaned out? Lawrence, well, just pretend, just pretend for a moment it was the Winterbomb or the White House or some other entity that was under siege. And let me say, you can logistically get people there as you make the plan. We're trying to figure out how we can get this job done today. We talked to Mitch about it earlier. He, uh, he's not in the room right now, but he was with us earlier uh, and said, you know, we want to expedite this and hopefully they could confine it to just one complaint, Arizona, and then we could vote and, and that would be, you know, then just move forward with the rest of the state. The overriding wish is to do it at the Capitol. What we are being told very directly is it's going to take days for the Capitol to be okay again. We've gotten a very bad report about the condition of, of the um, house floor with defecation and all that kind of thing as well. I don't think that that's hard to clean up, but I do think it is uh, more from a security standpoint of making sure that everybody is out of the building and how long will that take. I just got off with the vice president. And I got off with the vice president-elect. So I'll tell okay. what but what we left the conversation with, because he said he had the impression from Mitch that Mitch wants to get everybody back to do it there. Yes. I said that what we're getting a counterpoint that is we could take time uh, to clean up the poo poo that they're making all over the literally and figuratively in the capital, and that uh, it may take days to get back. Good news. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President. Good news. In this video, you just saw Senator Chuck Schumer urging Acting Attorney General Jeff Rosen to get President Trump to call off the rioters. Of course, Acting AG Rosen did take action to defend the government, as did many other officials, but congressional leadership recognized on a bipartisan basis that President Trump was the only person who could get the mob to end its violent siege of the Congress, leave the Capitol, and go home. Here's Senator McCarthy.